1755. So on page 10, uh, Benjamin begins talking about the immigration problem that he sees with the Germans. And as so he puts it, why should the Palatine Boers, right? He does, he's like almost calling the Moors, but Palatine Boers, almost like pigs, boar, be suffered to swarm into our settlements and by herding together establish their languages and manners to the exclusion of Bowers. Why should Pennsylvania, funded by the English, become a colony of aliens who will shortly be so numerous as to Germanize us instead of our Anglifying them? They're going to Germanize us? What do you mean by them? And will never adopt our language or customs any more than they can acquire our complexion. You see, he's saying they're not our complexion. Who, German, the Palatine Boers, or Moors? Boers, calling them pig Moors, Boers. And he's going to explain the complexion of the Germans right now. Pay close attention. Point 24, which is making observations, right? He's given. Which leads me to add one remark, he says, that the number of purely white people in the world is proportionally very small. It's very small. You're the minority. All Africa is black or tawny. Asia is chiefly tawny. All right, tawny. A darker complexion, right? Not not white. America exclusive of the newcomers. Holy soul. All right, what is that saying? America is what? Black or tawny. Holy soul. Except the new people, the newcomers. Meaning that the aboriginals that were already there is holy what? Black or tawny. All right, Benjamin Franklin, you know. And in Europe... The Spaniards, Italians, French, Russians, Swedes are generally of what we call swarthy complexion. Swarthy. It's harder and harder to ignore that the echoes of replacement theory and other racially motivated views are increasingly coming out into the open. In a few years, we're going to be a majority brown country. White people will not be the majority in the country anymore. This will be the first generation ever in American history uh, in which whites will be a minority of the generation at some point. As of 2007, every year, babies being born in this country, whites now are the minority. In 2044, uh, everyone is going to be a minority. As the demographics change, as white people become the minority in the country, which is coming. Demographics is destiny. Demographics is destiny. Demographics is destiny, right? The country is changing. I've been saying it here. Other people have been saying it here for years now, even before Donald Trump. The demographics is destiny. The white population is declining for the first time in history in America, while the number of multiracial Americans have more than doubled. So we live in a country where the demographics are changing. It's becoming less white. Uh, correct. Okay, you'll be announcing that we're calling the 38 electoral votes of Texas for the Democratic nominee for president. It's changing. It's going to become a purple state and then a blue state because of the demographics, because of the population growth. The growth in Texas has been almost entirely driven by non-white population growth, mostly by Hispanic and Latino population growth. The idea that, uh, you know, whites will, will not be the majority, I mean, that's... It's an exciting transformation of the country. It's an exciting evolution uh, and, you know, progress of our country in many different ways. The white population is becoming. It, it was always a pony of swing. So that speaks to the beautiful diversity of America. It speaks to um, uh, how the, that population will, the demographics, will weigh in politically. I believe anybody who acts as a replacement is to blame, not for this particular crime, but it's for no purpose, no purpose, except profit and or 